Hello everybody, Ryan Carpenter here with No BS Golf, presented to you by P45 Knuckle Down Golf. Well, had a heck of a weekend, real busy one, and uh, uh, the nice part was got to come across a whole bunch of new uh, uh, players and go through the evaluation process, and uh, you know, it's it's more than anything, uh, one of my favorite parts about this whole process, and, and especially in a in a new environment, I'm coming to find that, you know, a lot of what, you know, encounter in, in bigger cities. So when I was in Chicago and uh, Kansas City for most of my life, uh, you know, more kind of more metro, you know, areas, there's a there's a whole different, um, oh, just realm of, of maybe connection, um, availability, uh you know, call it what you will, but the level of general um, golf knowledge as well is, is always interesting to find out. And so as I continue to peel back the layers around here, um, you know, it, it's definitely uh, uh, lacking to, to the point I feel, I really feel like honestly, and, and, and again, it could be based off region, but I feel like, and this is probably, I would I would label it more YouTube and uh, Twitter and Instagrammy um, relationship to some degree, and put some fault right into that realm. Uh, YouTube here, um, but uh, it, it seems like we've gone backwards. I, I and I don't get it. It's we we have had. If we take just so golf tech for example, I spent good almost. Oh, almost eight years, I guess, roughly uh, with golf tech. And uh, the amount of advancement that has occurred within that group alone, you know, and there, you know, it's like, gosh, I mean, almost 30 years. Eh. Yeah, uh, 24. Yeah, dang near. And um, there, there is there are things I'm running into and, and I'm, I'm honestly, I just, I don't get it. I'm astonished. So a couple things that have, I definitely uncovered here this weekend that I want to cover and, 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 help, and you know, and this is kind of a general, um, there's no, I get it, not everybody and so on and so forth, but the most common thing I keep running into hands down from players coming in is that they, they are frustrated with going to YouTube, trying to get information. And, and it's just either they don't know or confused or not sure. Or, and I tell them straight up, I'm like, damn right. I mean, I'm right here sitting here doing YouTube, but I'm doing it in a different way because the, this whole selling crap for clicks is not a BS in my opinion. Uh, I get it. People make, making money, but, whatever. And cause I will say the, the big part of this, no matter what that, that person talking in that video right there, don't know your swing. They don't know your tendencies. They don't know what you do. They don't know where you're at and what your goals are, which means even if they are providing good information, some do, but there's two problems. They don't, you don't know if it applies to you specifically. That's the first problem. And the second part is even if it did, are they really, giving you the entire picture are they really presenting the entirety of what has to happen and in most cases it's not because it would take 10 times the amount of recorded video just to get that information across and so it's uh it's fun going through the evaluations and helping players no, no matter what first of all get clarity so that they can they can release that world of YouTube crap and, and just clean the board and, and start fresh. And that's why the evaluation is so important. That's why it's such a critical first step. We've got to get people to understand what we need to do and, and, and have a true understanding. Yeah, not everybody's going to like it necessarily. Not everybody's going to want to do and hear and so on and so forth. And I, I'm totally fine with that, but it's important to get that information. And um, I had uh, three or four here in the last few days. Ooh, and we had good conversations and at the end of it, regardless of what, you know, becomes a part of the future process or not for each of these players, they were really, really, um, 
uh, happy to be getting this information to be being able to at least know and, and be able to make and factor into their decisions where they want to go with this. So, um, so yeah, clearing up that, that world of internet golf crap. No, let's just, let's just, let's just start right there. It, it, while it's not all BS, the problem is it's not uh, adequate. It's not matching. It's not giving you personally what you need to know as an individual. That's the biggest problem there. So, uh, so second, and this goes back, I posted a while back, uh, about a month, two, maybe three. Time flies. A young gal. Uh, in fact, she teaches, I believe, somewhere here in the state of Georgia. Uh, young, young lady, uh, 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 British uh I believe based off the accent, best guess. Um, yeah, young gal on a range, videotaping her swing and working on stuff. And out of the blue, some jackass son of a you know what sitting down over next to her on a range starts telling her do this and don't do that, and you shouldn't swing like that, and all kind of unsolicited, you know what, GD advice, and. It, it's, I don't, I don't get it. I have 25 years of dedicated study and I, I just, by the way, a little milestone here locally. I just went over the 500 lessons top mark here uh, this year. You know, so I'm pretty dang close. If not already, I don't know. I have to update it. Um, doesn't matter. Over 18,000 lessons. Taught. I've got the background. I've got the studies. I've got um, the certifications via multiple sources, so on and so forth. And I'm still studying and working hard to get better at it and know more. And this some odd random guy trying to tell some gal sitting on a range next to him what she needs to do. She's a teaching professional. Little did he know that. A, B, little did he know. Oh, whoops, there was a video recording the whole damn thing. I'm going to tell you right now, don't be that guy. That is absolute BS. The problem with the general world of golf, and I always tell my, I'm, I always tell students, I'm like, look, hey, this is as easy as this gets. And you can tell your friends, your family. If someone starts giving unsolicited advice and information and trying to make it somehow, I'm going to help you with your golf game kind of jargon and crap. Tell you right now, first thing I would say, because I've done it, I've stood on range and had somebody try to. I said, Oh, well, where's your card and, and where do you teach out of and what's your academy and what's your teaching philosophy? I'll tell you right now, uh, they shut up pretty damn quick. Pretty damn quick. It is not okay to go to someone else and give unsolicited advice. First of all, if you haven't done a full evaluation of their swing, you don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Second, there's no reason to go looking and yakking at people you don't know who are trying to do something on their own. Maybe they've got an objective <coughs> and you don't know what it is. And now you're interfering. I had a new player, beginner. So not a player yet, someone a beginner, an introductory person coming to the game. This was not a young little young lady. This was a large man. This is football guy in shape could whoop the, you know what, out of most fellers walking up to a range right now. Okay? Not a small person. This guy... Went out trying to somehow figure out this game. <coughs> so <coughs> I give him uh, a lot of credit for going out there. That takes a lot of courage because it ain't easy. <coughs> and um, having a tough time at it, of course, you know, like most do in the beginning. And some guy on some damn range around here went over to this fellow, started trying to tell him do this and do that and a bunch of crap. And he, he, he we were chatting about, you know, because the evaluation lesson is way more than just golf swing. We go through a lot of stuff, folks. I try to get as much as I can into a shortish period of time 
a whole lot of conversation and a whole lot of understanding of the person I'm, I'm, I'm talking with in front of me and, and figuring out who they are and <coughs> pardon me, what they are and where they want to go and what they want to be. And so that goes way beyond how they swing in a stick. The stick is just half the ball game. So we got chatting and, and, and we were talking about development and, uh, why I partnered with www.thegolfpub.com. Why, why did I, why did I choose that? Why didn't I go a different route? You know, and, and <clears throat> came down to it. We were discussing, well, plain and simple is a better environment. Um, we can create so much more of a, uh, a learning environment. And, and we discussed, Oh, by the way, these fellas got memberships available. And uh, with that membership, I need to start getting this out more. If you become a member at the pub, so we'll get back to this here in a minute, and and, and that allows you to use of the facility. Uh, the, the middle membership, in fact, gives you a, 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 a scheduling capability, so you can get, put it down ahead of time, and off-hour time. So just like sometimes I might be teaching in the mornings at the pub, you can schedule time to come practice as well. So uh, look into the memberships up here, at, which I will, by the way, if you get a membership, one of the things I offer is a, a, a discount on lesson pricing above the normal discount. Uh, 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 so I additional discount, extra dollars off the lessons because it's important for the facility to get, you know, their time and, 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 and bay use and money as well because uh, they provide us the environment that is so critical, which goes back to my fella. And so, he said, you know, yeah, it's it was real frustrating. It's kind of hard because you go out there and everybody's looking at you, and then you get people coming over telling you stuff. It's like, man, I just I don't want to even be doing this right here. This, this poor guy trying to learn the game of golf. Right out of the gates is getting terrible experience from other people. It drives me to the point of doing this right here. No BS golf. I'm sick of this crap. I don't know when it changed. Uh, the clubs I grew up working at, and 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 even back then, the facilities that I would get travel to and play golf around KC area, different area. But you know, it it, it didn't have. A, I don't even know how to describe it. It, it was a different thing. There was a very um, welcoming feel to 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 our facilities. I mean, maybe it's because of how we ran them. I'll be honest. I haven't I haven't operated a facility now, and oh, it's been it's, it's been it's been a time, ten years. So I learned from the best, though. You know, I, I learned from the Bob Fords of the world who taught their you know 80, 90 pros that came through them under their tutelage and went on and created more great programs, and <clears throat> so. And I see it every day. I had a young fella that uh, came in and asked a question. Should be a simple one if you're working in the golf shop and was basically given a very uh, uh, rude and abrupt answer that I, I'll tell you right now, every club I ever worked at, if somebody would have responded like that to a question, they'd have been sent home on the spot that day. There, there's no room for that kind of snappy BS. And uh, I don't know, folks, it's uh, it's changed. So maybe that's just the way it is now out there in, in the in the world of operation. I don't think that's the case. I bet if I go back to my facilities back home, they're still being run the same way. And uh, but that's the thing. It's it was a welcoming environment. And it, it, it makes me incredibly mad that people might go to some place here locally and try to, you know, go be a part of this thing and learn it and be and be be uh, uh, uncomfortable and uh, not welcomed or worse, you know, kind of, kind of talk to in a way that, you know, you didn't ask, you didn't ask for none of that crap. So regardless of what it is, I'm going to tell you right now, don't be that guy. Don't just start going and telling people what they need to do and not do in the dang golf. So like, first of all, first thing I want to know is how many years you've been doing it, how many lessons you taught, what are your credits, uh, you know, What's your teaching philosophy? 
And then I want to know how you identified that's what they should be doing in the first place. It's not okay, people. It's not okay at all. Anyways, we got a whole different things going on down at uh, the golf pub, and it's for a reason. is to avoid all this crap. It's to get away from the BS. It's to do it right. It's to provide the information necessary. It's to give players an incredibly higher degree of learning experience, which is how we're able to move this process along much, much, much more efficiently than what's been done in the past. So if you want to know what that's all about, if you want to get away from all this stuff, if you want a better learning environment, most importantly, if you want to know what's going to be important for you as an individual, that's why I'm still doing this, folks. Evaluations are free right now. You got to learn that first. Without that, you can't make a proper decision. <clears throat> so you got to hit me up. You got to get that scheduled. We got to get you in and going. Second, everything is discounted based off commitment. If you can make a commitment to your game, we honor that commitment because we know we can help you now. It makes more sense. Discounts always are higher the more you commit to the process. Second to that, the practice memberships are incredibly important. Uh and it's, it's basically the membership to the to the pub, which you can use for fun, too. You got if you go, uh, there's like there's like three. You have to look it up. Call them up. Go in. Hey, first of all, go up there and visit them. T take a look around. Go see what this is all about. I keep hearing people say, I didn't know that exists. You got to get up there, folks. Go check it out. And uh, they got three tiers of memberships. And, and with those memberships, not only can you use it for your practice time if you're working with me, but you get a deeper discount. So you have to let me know I became a member. Bam, deeper discount, and uh, and uh, but you can you know bring some family and friends in with that thing. You know you schedule some time on a Tuesday at whenever, one in the afternoon. I don't know, whatever, whatever you can get in. You can bring some friends, and family, have fun. Also using your membership, so it's it's a dual function. It's for fun and for improvement. Hey, I got a question for y'all folks before I wrap up here. We kind of went on a little bit there and just kind of had to. Get that out of my system. It was driving me nuts all night long. Um, had an idea about a quick fit day. Uh, I hate quick, quick fit. It's stupid. It's dumb. It makes no sense. But there's a purpose to the quick fit from the way I do it. This would be an eye-opener quick fit where I would schedule people to come in about every 30 minutes or so, maybe, let's say, and do what's called a quick fit. In other words, we take what you got going on in your clubs, we look at it, and then we, we do some quick measuring stuff and uh based off that i'll give you an idea of, of some some possibilities and that's the way i call it because it's not going to magically tell you which clubs are the best and what the perfect fit is because yeah anyway that's the whole point of this process how many people would be into that that's the real question of the day would you be interested in a quick fit free by the way totally free uh quick fit day you come in and, and yeah, you know, at the worst worst case scenario, you see the facility. Come check it out, folks. And then even worse, uh, you know, uh, other than that, hey, you get a little free info, you know. And what's wrong with info? Info's good. So that's a lot of stuff. Uh, co comment section, come in and tell me what you think, what you got. Yo, you like being that guy on the range, being the annoying uh, unsolicitor? Please don't do that no more. Uh, that's driving me nuts. Anyways. Glad I got some of these folks under the, under my wing now and moving in the right direction. <clears throat> it means a lot. And uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. It is a blast, man. We were having a blast. Like I said, just went over the 500 uh, lesson top milestone here locally for this first year at the pub. So we're, we're shaking and baking. We're doing this. So anyhow, uh, as always, uh, reach out, uh, comment, smash the like button, subscribe, share, Twitter at P45KDG, email P45 or P45KnuckleDownGolf at gmail.com, whichever, wherever, however. Tell me what you think, people, and ask questions. Oh, and tell me, would you sign up for the free fit day? 30 minutes. That's all it takes. And, uh, yeah, let's go from there. Uh, if y'all need anything else, y'all let me know. And for now, this is Ryan Carpenter, No BS Golf.